Gordon and Ashley are back. And this season in Colin from Account Season 2, they're asking the big questions. Are they in a relationship or was it just all about the dog? Oh, dear sweet baby Jesus, I have loved every minute of Colin from Account Season 1. And now Season 2 is upon us. Friends, I've been very fortunate. Uh, not only did I get to attend the premiere last week, I also got to speak with Patrick and Harriet. We'll talk to them in a second. Um, and I've seen the first five of Season 8. It's brilliant. Patrick Bramall, Harriet Dyer, the creators, the writers, and the stars of Colin from Accounts have promised big things, 20% um, more for a start, but maybe love, uh, a wedding, a funeral, and an expanding ensemble cast. That is, frankly, hilarious. And we saw some of those new faces as well as a bunch of returning ones in the trailer. It is delightful as the central characters as Gordon and Ashley, Patrick and Harriet are look, they're really just fucking great. They're really, really good. I love the way that they embrace these characters, that it reflects heightened parts of who they are in their relationship, and, and that makes it so much more engaging. Uh, and their close circles as characters are so much more important now because they're in a relationship, we think, maybe, probably. Who knows? Now, we met Ash's mum and the professor in season one. Can you remember that dinner party? Oh, my God. They're back, along with uh, everybody else. But this time we get to meet Gordon's family, and you got to meet his brother, Heavy, nicknamed Heavy, um, in the trailer, and he is delightful. Justin Rosniak plays him, and he's so freaking good. Gordon's family is from Yass, and hold on to your seats for when that comes along. It's so, so good. Uh, it's, it's honestly just glorious. I have so much to say. I do not want to spoil it, but... Let me get you into this. This is my chat. I was very fortunate to be invited by Binge to join the endless list of journos that got to sit down in a standard kind of LA junket situation. I got literally 10 minutes. This is the edited version. I can show you the things that got cut out at some other time. They're fun, but they just, I had to trim something. Here we go. Um, this is my chat with Patrick and Harriet, all about Colin from Accounts Season 2. Enjoy. I'm Great. still tucking my shirt in. Have Steve. a tuck. Go I on. mean, take your time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> yeah, got heaps of it. To be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got nothing going on. Yeah, go on. Doing things. What's up, Mark? Oh, look, everything, Harry, Patrick. First of all, what the fuck are you doing? Great question. Great question. Right? Yeah. And a, a, a fair one. Yeah. yeah. We're just trying to just trying to mess mess with the program, man. Yeah, we're, we're just disrupting from the inside. <laughs> right. So, real questions. Yeah. Patrick Harriet, firstly, congratulations. Colin from Accounts Season Two is. Incredible. Thanks, no, you've done man. such a great like job. Have you seen three? I've three. seen the first three. First three. Yes. Awesome. Great. No spoilers. Good. Good. Um, I am really intrigued, actually. Part of the promotional stuff that we got promised us 20% more. Yeah. 20% hotter mm -hmm. was what we gave our new um, costume designer. Great. Hotter. And, and then it just kind of spilled on. And 20% funnier. Is what we told ourselves. Because we said it yeah, had yeah. to be at least 20% better generally to hit the same high watermark of season one. Sure. That was our kind of maths going in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'd hit it. I mean, you've seen three. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Uh, 18. 18. 18%. I think we're getting there. I'll take 18. I mean, the final five will really bring it home, I really, think. They will. Hope so. Yeah, they will. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Now, writing as a husband and wife duo, yeah. Yeah. a couple, it's challenging, I'm sure. Yeah. In bringing Colin to life, not only in the first instance, but Look, the difficult second album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did we go? Did we were we more critical with each other? What did it look like when it came to submitting each other's scripts to each other? I don't think we were more critical. I think we were as critical. Actually, probably we learned a bunch of shit in the first season that yeah. unconsciously. And so I think our expectations for what was good mm. was higher. Yes. But I think our confidence, like my confidence was higher because it was the first thing I'd ever done, which mm. is annoying, um, <laughs> season one. But season two, I like didn't have such um, like an angry imposter syndrome thing. Like I think season one, I was like... Ah, don't look at me while I write. I'm not real. She get like, feverish. Like she smash the keys. Sure. And I'd get very sweaty <laughs> and um, want more coffee that I didn't need. Yeah. And now I think Unsustainable. I feel like yeah. season two. I was like, calm down, Harriet. We're not trying to catch a magical fairy that won't be here if you don't get this scene out right Wrong. now. That's what a little bit what I felt. And so having more confidence made me less. Um, sensitive. Yeah, and I actually felt it was a relief getting back into the writers' room, mm. the room that we wrote in. Because room. yeah, mm. because um, there was so much amazing stuff said about the first season. Yes, but whether it's good stuff or bad stuff, it's all none of it helps for creating 
at all. Right. So it was good to get rid of all the audience and all mm. the feedback and all the everything, all the opinions, mm. and just replug back into the world. And yep. writing was like one of the nicest uh, times. I loved it. It was a good few months where yeah. we'd walk our kid to daycare with our dog. We'd get a little coffee. We'd walk back with the dog. Maybe, maybe go to the gym. I don't know, whatever. And yep. then we'd write for a couple hours and then go get her. It was actually very simple and routine. very lovely. Yeah. Right. And no one's like... No one was kind of tapping their watch asking for drafts. Like it was kind of, we had a plan of when we'd like to finish it by, but it was all a bit nebulous and nice. It was. It makes for a good environment, doesn't it? It, it means the scripts get to, to play it a little more generously. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, like it we comes a bit took easier. We more time with it. Yeah. That's good. Well, we get to benefit from it in watching um, season two of Colin from Accounts. 18%, yeah. Almost there. Almost right? there. So Nobody close. gets a, a HD. Straight away. That quickly. Okay. Which reminds me, I'm a student, full-time student now for the first time in nearly 30 years. Okay, oh what are you studying? Um, education. Oh, wow. Well. I want to become a, the best media studies teacher in Australia, which is how I'm trying to pitch it. I believe okay. you can do it. I'm trying hard. But so, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions as a, as a media studies Please. student? Please. Please. Whoa. Go. Harriet and Patrick, mm. Mm -hmm. um, your use of mise-en-scene throughout oh, yeah. um, Colin from Accounts yeah. has, has proven to be characteristic of your style, wow. um, Bergman-esque, mm. some have suggested. How do you feel Colin speaks as a metaphor to all of us? Mm. Look, I think, um, you know, uh, Birdman said it best, um, to use your reference, mm. uh, you know, put the Miz in the scene mm. and the scene will be Miz. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You I also that? like Bergman. Mm. Fantastic chip. Yeah. Hard to find. Now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Colin, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's a he's a he's a metaphor for unconditional love. Mm. He actually is. He actually is. Did we tell you this one? That it was a minute in season one writing it that Harry went, "Okay, we don't hit a dog anymore. We hit an old lady." Great, for real. Because mm. I was and, lost. And there was scene. two days we were like, "It's an old lady." And we told our producers, and they were like, "Shit, okay, if you th yeah, we trust you guys." And then after two days, we we're like, "No, that's stupid. It's got to be a dog," because it's a. It's about us too. It's not. It's a, and the dog acts as. And then a, you have to give her lines and stuff. Yeah. That's true. And you can't so. adopt a grandma. No, I think I, I was losing it. Yeah, a bit. Mm. she was very tired and drinking too much coffee. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the uh, abject claims of nepotism mm. uh, in mm. involving uh, a young lady called Madeline Dyer? Madeline yeah. Dyer. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, she is my biological sister. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. She did direct Ep 6 and Ep 4 last season. The yeah, claims yeah, are yeah. grounded mm. and, uh, yeah, we'll cop to them. Paddy only got a job in this because he's married to me. Mm. So nepotism, it starts from the top, man. Yeah, the yeah. casting couch is really evident. It's, yeah. it's, you're on it. You're mm. on it right now. Yeah. It's, that's awkward. Yeah. yeah. Didn't used to it's be this colour green. Uh, oh. <laughs> the returning ensemble cast, fabulous. I think I mean, good. So great to have. I mean, even just the likes of Genevieve yeah. and mm. Emma. Yeah. And, mm. Like... The Echo Park crew. Like, yeah. Let's bring that back, besties and the rest. The families we get some e e development on. Of mm. course, um, you know, Ashley's mother and professor yeah. uh, return. That's delightful. But yeah. this year we get to meet Gordon's yep. family. Yeah. Gosh. Like, like Justin Rosenacker plays heavy. He so shows great. Up in three. You've seen him. You've seen him. You'll see him again in Ep 6. Mm -hmm. And we meet the rest of Gordon's family. Yep. Celeste Barber's in there. Yep. She plays his wife. John Howard plays yep. my dad. Lynn yep. Portis, my mum. Yep. Um... Yeah, we've got some brilliant ensemble players this season. Uh, they, so I just can't wait for everyone to see them, honestly. Yeah. yeah. And, and I can understand that because when you throw the kind of heavyweight into that, not just in, in those that you've already mentioned, but yeah. let's just casually sprinkle in the inclusion of Wayne Hope and Robin Butler, oh, yeah. Yeah. who are involved, you know, in a directorial sense yeah. as well as yeah. on screen. They're amazing. Right? Yes. They're yes. Australian yes. comedy royalty they are. that we get to benefit from because you guys went, hey, we think, that there might be something here, and yeah. we asked them, thinking there's no way, and they within ten minutes like, yeah, we'll do it. So we funny to have it. them in front and behind the camera. That that it was very funny. They are so good, and we just yeah, we idolise them a bit. Yeah, good. I mean, yeah. it's there are worse uh, people to so. idolise, right? Yeah. yeah. Guys, congratulations, Colin from Accounts. Season two is available right this very instant yes. on Binge. Uh, your suggestions for how people should consume it? Sober, mm -hmm. and then do it again drunk. Great. Now watch it sober again. Ah, uh, loose pants. Mm. Um, yeah. Snacks. Empty stomach, though. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> Tish <laughs> tissues nearby. Very mm. much so. Whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you need. Just get uh, what you need. I, I don't know. They're doing it like a one, two, 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 one. Yeah, you can't. I, think, I thought they were just dropping it one a week. No. Nah. Anyway, you can't eat it all at once this time. Mm. You've got to pace yourself. Great. Mm. Do it, Australia. 
Place yourself. <laughs> it's, the, it's the story we needed to hear. Yeah. Yes, it is. Thank you. How great are Patrick and Harriet? Honestly, just so much fun. I, I could have honestly talked to them for an hour and it would have bat that that in itself was nearly eight minutes. So super fun. Look, the, the cast, uh, Patrick as and Harriet obviously are back. Genevieve Hegney, Emma Harvey, Michael Logo, Annie Maynard as Yvette the Vet. Glorious. Um, Helen Thompson as Ashley's mum. And of course, Darren Gilshan as the professor. Fuck hell. <laughs> Just so, so good. So, so good. Um, and then, as you heard in the conversation, Wayne Hope and Robin Butler are joining it. And then add in John Howard and Lynn Porteous, who play um, Flash, Gordon's parents. Um, Justin Rosniak, Celeste Barber, the incredible Virginia Gay, Broden Kelly, who you would have seen in the trailer, and a special friend, no spoilers, pops up in season eight. But fans of No Activity might remember who they are. Mm. Check it out. Look, it is incredible. Um, season one is available in full on binge. Uh, season two, actually, I was going to go for a prop. I, you know, I've got a prop. Binge sent out this amazing thing. I haven't tested it yet, so it's my error. Season one, Colin from Accounts. Ta-da, right? And it's a thing called Scene Sense. And when you open it up, it, it's hilarious. Eight episodes. There are four candles. The whole, the whole idea is that they smell, they add to the atmosphere of you watching it at home. So you like candle one when you start episode one and it burns for two episodes. You watch episode one and two and it burns all the way down and you get these aromas and accents in the air. I don't know if it's fucking going to work. I'm going to give it a red or go. Uh, but scene sense, amazing. That's for season one. I don't know how easily you can get them. I was very fortunate to get a set. But season two is, episode one, is available right now on Binge. And as Harriet correctly said, it's dropping one, two, 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 one. So this week, you'll get episodes two and three. They're delightful. Uh, and the rest will continue on. It's super, super nice. It's so, so fun. Colin from Accounts, season two. There are eight episodes in that one. Two, two, um, they're dropping weekly-ish every week, but there's a different amount on Thursdays and they are streaming right now on binge. And that's exactly what you want to be watching it on. It's great. All of, I just love, I love it. I love them. It is super fun. How good is Aussie comedy when we nail it? Like Colin from accounts. So bloody good. That's how it is.